It has been so hard, <laughs> but so good. Just watching this little person who you love and care about and fight for, just experience the world is incredible. It's a gift. It's just really a gift. really outgoing and active and fun and joyful and curious and her, her file before I got her said that she is, was quiet and shy but lovely <laughs> well she's very lovely I would not describe her as quiet or shy <laughs> so I think that that's um, just really a testament to what having a family and a home and attention and love and all that can do a lot of our story together has been building trust and really trying to show her that I'm different, I'm permanent. Um, I'm gonna stay here forever, right? Yes, and that just takes time and repetition. And so I think a lot of our story is just trying to live life but trying to do it in a way that's always mindful of her life before me and how to help her feel secure with me. I get a lot of, oh, you're so brave. I could never do that. And I think, why not? I mean, there are some people who shouldn't do it. You know, if you really can't afford to support a child, don't do it. If you don't do well under stress, <laughs> don't do it. But I think, not just singles, but I think families. I think there are so many more people who kind of want to and then don't just because they're scared. And to those people, I would say, research, research, research. Meet adoptive families, talk to them. Meet the kids, they're just kids. Do they have needs? Yes. Can you figure it out? Most of the time. This is the hardest thing I've ever done on purpose, but I'm so thankful that I'm doing it and I can't wait to do it more. What else do you like? Mama. You like mama? I like you too. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to play. You want to, oh, can I play too? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to read that to us?